Hello everyone, this is Review Dude 666 and today I'll be showing you my top 10 favorite films of all time. So let's get started. At number 10, it is Stand By Me. Um, this movie is a, it's a, a amazing film. I can't believe this film didn't win any awards or anything. Um, people have a, a lot of people have this in their favorites list. But yeah, this movie is about four friends. One played by Will Wheaton, other played by Willie Will, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman right there, and um Jerry O'Connell and Keith Sutherland did it. Did it a pretty small role. Well not really a small role, but not better than the age for it. But yeah, this is just a amazing movie. That's my number ten pick. Number nine is Robert De Niro from in Raging Bull from 1980. This movie is so like this is actually a very very disturbing film. Not really disturbing, but realistic. It's a fellow boxer named um man I forgot um I forgot his name. I didn't watch him in a while, but. Robert De Niro plays him, plays a boxer that, you know, starts going like crazy and stuff and with fame and, um, I don't really know much else to say about this one, but it has a really awesome cast. It has, Um, it has, um, um, his name, Joe Pesci, um, Pokemon with De Niro, um, uh, I don't really remember any of the other cast in the Russian world, but this is a very poetic film, because he gets what he deserved in the end, his family left him, and everything, everyone who loved to leave him, but, Yes, this is Martin Scorsese film. But yeah, this is an awesome film. Definitely recommend it. It's my number nine pick. Number eight is another Martin Scorsese film. And another Robert De Niro film from 1978 again. Taxi Driver. Um, this film is a really, 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 um, great. It's probably Martin Scorsese's best film. Um, but the two special edition. That really, but this movie is really, really, um, you know, inspiring to filmmakers, young filmmakers, independent filmmakers, filmmakers like um, Quentin Tarantino, who brought you Kill Bill, Reservoir Dogs. That film inspired him. But yeah, just that movie is about a guy that comes back from Vietnam and he falls in love with a girl and she didn't want him, and he starts like trying to help this prostitute and then he starts going crazy and then he goes and kills a bunch of things and that's pretty much what the story is about but it has a really good um, cast in it it has Riley De Niro, um, Jodie Foster, Harvey Keitel, you might know the Red Bird Dogs, um, Letter Paris, Peter Boyle and Sybil Shepherd who plays Betsy, the girl he likes. She doesn't have a big role in this movie. But that's my number 8 pick. Number 7 is Reservoir Dogs. This movie is just wow. There's not really much to say about it, but this movie is just really awesome. It's an awesome independent film. Probably the best independent film. But yeah, it's about these six guys, one played by Harvey Kaito, who might know him from Taxi Driver, others played by Tim Roth, you might know him from Pulp Fiction, he plays the guy who robs the, the cafe, um, Chris Penn, um, Steve Buscemi, he plays in another one of my favorite films, um, Fargo, Lawrence Keen and Michael Madsen, he plays in um, 2000 Miles of Graceland, but yeah, this movie is um, about a bunch of guys that go on a heist and start going to a prison. 